Relishing, when you talk about relishing ras, the rasa swaran, the relishing of ras happens at the plat, at the stage of bhava, bhava and prema. Because to relish ras, first of all, you need to realize your stahi bhav. You need to realize, not that you just think or desire. You have to realize. Which means you'll see you have sporty, you have sporty of your siddhadeya, and that stai rati that you've been cultivating, madhuri rati or saki rati. I want to be a coward boy. I want to be a mandri gopi. I want to be the mother of Krishna. Whatever. That stai rati, and maybe you're a sadaka and you're cultivating it. When you come to bhav, then that that cultivation will become realized. The stai rati, then then you'll firmly establish your stai rati. That is the basis for tasting ras, the stai rati. The stai rati is your relationship with Krishna will become realized and seen and fixed at the level of bhava, bhava bhakti, and higher higher end of bhava bhakti, going with prem, coming to prem. Then there's four, ba- there's five bhavas that mix together. When these five, it's a samagri, Samagriya, five panch bhavas, five bhavas, when they mix together, that produces an incredible, inconceivable relish in the body, senses, mind, and heart called ras, bhakti ras, prema ras. And so there's the first one is the stai rati, or the stahi bhav, then anubhav, then vibhav, and then sanchari bhav, and uh, vyavachari bhavs. There, I don't know, the sanchari and vyavachari. Uh, there's five. There's Anubhav, Anubhavas. Anubhav, Anubhav, Sanchari Bhav, Stai Rati, Sattvic Bhav, Devachari Bhavs. Five different Bhavas mixed together. So in your Stai Rati, when you come to the level of Bhava, then when you meditate on Radha and Krishna, there are Leelas, and, because that's the Vibhav. The Vibhav is Radha and Krishna. And then you're, you're a Prema Shraya, Radha is Prema Shraya, Krishna is the Prema Vishaya. Then when you absorb yourself in a lila, which you can't do until you come to the stai rati and bhav, and you enter the lila, then when those five bhavas mix together, then you can relish ras. So that is that is the, you know, people say, oh, well, bhakti ras, I'm tasting bhakti ras. We're tasting, we're having some ruchi, we're tasting something. We're tasting some bhakti. Otherwise, there's, there's no, there's some relish of, of the holy name and everything. But that's not the same as ras aswadana, at the level of bhava, which is what he's speaking about. So generally, if someone has not practiced Raghunuga, I mean, it, he's correct because generally, if you practice Raghunuga Bhakti in last life, you've developed, you've come, you probably developed pretty far along the line through Nishta, and maybe Nishta and Ruchi, maybe Ruchi to a Sakti. So in this life, to, to go the distance, now in this life, from carrying on your Raghunuga Bhakti from last life, in this life, you'll be able to cross the distance between ruchi, asakti, and enter bhav in this one very lifetime. And then, then you'll experience rasa swadna. So he's correct. However, by the causeless mercy of Guru, causeless mercy of the holy name of Mahaprabhu, one can, can, it's conceivable, but even Jiva Goswami, Jiva Goswami is backing up what Srila Nathadas Pandit said. He's correct. He's Guru. He's, he's Pandit. He knows what he's talking about. He's not wrong. He's, he's right. So it's possible. The chances are very, very slim. Because in Sandarva, as Jiva Goswami is explaining, it takes many, 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 many lifetimes of practicing Raghunuga Bhakti to attain bhava. Because in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Rupa Goswami, this is the law book. This is the foundation book. Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Hari Bhakti Vilas, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, and Brihad Bhagavatamrita. These are like the foundational books of all the others. So there he said there's six symptoms of bhakti. This, it's called the Six Characteristics of Devotional Service, is the chapter in Nectar Devotion. I have my, my uh, website, MNS Audio. I have all 30 folders. Folder on Nectar Devotion. Every I went through the whole Nectar Devotion. Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Chaitanya Charitamrita. Every verse of Chaitanya Bhagavad I give in class on. Every single verse. And many of them have no tika and I gave explanation. Chaitanya Charitamrita. 
I gave uh, 160 classes and 160 stories from Chaitanya Charitamrita with Tattva. Bhagavad Gita, you can see mnsaudio.com. Many folders, many, many. I went through the entire Bhajan Rahasyam, every single verse. Many, many. So, and that's free, of course, you know, you know, download, free download. America is kind of fast, you can download. So, yeah, so the six symptoms of bhakti. So the first symptom is, is uh, sadurla, but no, is, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, no, the first symptom is uh, mm, auspiciousness. Shubhada, Shubhada and Kleshagni. The first two symptoms of bhakti are called Shubhada and Kleshagni. Shubha, Shubhada means it gives auspiciousness, it makes your life auspicious. And Klesh Agni means it, it destroys the uh, sufferings, miseries. Adiyatmika Klesha, Adidaivaka, Adipotika Klesh, Klesh Agni. So this, these two symptoms of bhakti, have, these are represented in sadhana bhakti. And sadhana bhakti is ado shara, sarusanga, bhajana kriya, anartha nivrti, nishta, ruchi, asakti. That's all sadhana. Then we enter bhava bhakti. There's two symptoms of bhava bhakti. Sudurlabha. Su, sudurlabha. Someone's thing. Lobe, love, greed, attain, door, difficult, far, su, very. Clear, Hindi. This is a symptom of Bhava Bhakti. Very, very difficult to attain, Sudurla Bhakti. And second point, Rupa Goswami Pad is telling, it is Moksha Laguta Krit. Moksha, Moksha. You say Hindi, you say Moksha. You say Moksha. Moksha Laguta, uh, Lagu. Lagu and Guru. Lagu Bhagavatamrita, Brihad Bhagavatamrita. Lagu means small. Lagu, small, light. Brihad means big. Brihad Murdanga. Brihad Murdanga means, no, not this. It means books. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> how about Bhagavatam? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, how about Bhagavad Gita also? Yeah. Uh, Isopanishad too. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, this, that. Uh, hey, well, hey, wait, come on. I, uh, you, you started one, now five, six. What? No, no, it's good. You take it. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Why take one? Take five is better. Five, one is not good. Five is good luck. Five is very good luck. If you have one book, you're not, you, your luck is little luck. But if you have five books, you have five times luck. Look, see, I had one book and my life was okay. But when I got five books, then so many things happened. Really? Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from St. Petersburg. That's how nice to meet you. Okay. Buy, see, you know, 50, 100 rubles, 200, whatever, I don't know, <laughs> whatever it's worth, I don't know what it's worth. 100 bucks. I did the airport six years. Bhagavatams. Bhagavatams, I saw. LA airport, San Francisco, Orlando, Orlando, the small airport in Orlando. I want to know, not Orlando, somewhere outside of LA, I forget. I can't remember. It with O or something like that. Out here? Huh? Was it here? No, that's Chicago. It's in California. There was LA Airport, then out towards Bakersfield. No, Oakland is by San Francisco. It's called, I forget, Ontario, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been there since 81, so. <laughs> it's a long ago. Yeah, I was a book distributor from 24 until I was 30. And then I was uh, temple president. Oh, so many things. Four years temple president. So, that's it, I think, 6 o'clock? Oh. Sometimes the teacher is eager to end the class, and the students are always eager to end the class. <laughs> Even the teachers are. So, more, more questions? So, the, the, uh, just to wrap it up. So, that's, that's Bhav. And then Prema is, uh, uh, Prema is Sandra, Sandra Nanda Visheshatma. Chandra 
Ananda Vishesh Atma and uh, Sri Krishna, thank you, Sri Krishna Sankarshani. It's not only Sri Krishna, but San it means Krishna with others. San, like Sankirtan, many. So Krishna, uh, Sri Krishna San, uh, Sankar, San, Sankarshani means that Prema, when you attain Krishna Prema, you attract Krishna and his entourage. Radha, Guru Saki, Guru Mandri, they all come in your sporty, they come in your darshan, they come in your dreams. They, they, attra- they, want, to, they want to meet you, you're a Premi Bhakta. They want to show themselves to you. And then, Chandra Ananda Vishesh Atma, your Atma, your being, Vishesh, very special, extraordinary type of bliss, Anand. But Chandra, Chandra means, Chandra means concentrated, compact, like, like, not, not Sandesh and, but not Kira, but Burfi, you know, tight, solid. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> practical, practical language. <laughs> so, you know, they say in America, the truth hurts. You know, pinches. So, you know, but if you tell, if you go out and try to start a preaching movement, say, everybody join this movement, it's wonderful. You'll go back to God in 200 lifetimes. <laughs> You'll attain love of God in, five, in 25 lifetimes. Huh? I want it now, Jack, now! <laughs> it's like, all right. <laughs> it's like, how long is it going to take me? Five minutes? No, a little longer. Okay, five years. You know, slap me out the frame, man. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't... So I've been doing it 40 years. Okay, well, gee, well, okay, go 40 more. Oh, well, well, gee, I'll go 40 more. And then, hey, guess what? <laughs> Bye. Time, time's up, you know. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> so uh, Prabhupada was encouraging us, get, get your feet on the ground, start walking. And they say in America, a journey of a thousand miles, you say, a journey of a thousand kilometers starts with the first step. So if you don't step forward, you'll never get there. So Prabhupada was, was an ocean of encouragement. An ocean of encouragement, enthusiasm, purity. And he, he was convinced that everybody can take up bhakti. Everybody. Because it's a fact. He was convinced. Prabhupada was a personification conviction. If you're not convinced about Krishna bhakti, pray to Prabhupada. <laughs> he convinced everybody else. He convinced your guru to be a devotee. So the guru, and then your guru has so much conviction because he got it from Prabhupada. So if you're in Iskand, you know, you, you pray to Prabhupada and your guru, and you get lots of good qualities and lots of blessings. Amazing. But when you when you're little, you know, your father doesn't tell you. You know, when you're little, the father, daddy says, Daddy, where does food come from? Oh, don't worry about food. It's no problem, you know. There's always food. Then the kid grows up and he starts to realize, Oh, food costs money. <laughs> food costs money and, and daddy has to work to get money. And, and I'm getting older also. Maybe I also have to work. And food is not just going to come from the sky like it does now. I have to go out and work and get my food. Yeah. <laughs> so the father doesn't tell you that in the beginning. He lets you just enjoy so Prabhupada is uh, very kind because if he told us how hard it really is, we say, look, I'm going down the street to TM or someplace else. I'll give you instant nirvana, you know. I'll get nirvana. I'll, get, I'll join the Buddhist and I'll get nirvana in six months. $13 Yeah, 15 are free, whatever, even if it's free. The time, time is also a consideration. Like, Prabhupada said, Swami Bhaktivedanta said, please, you join my mission, I guarantee you'll get pure love of God and ten lifetimes. And ten lifetimes. And then, <laughs> how many people are going to sign up? I don't charge anything. You can just join me. You just hear, hear and chant. Krishna will take care of everything. Yoga, Shema, Mahamyam, Mahamyam. He'll give food, everything, and, and everything will be fine. And so we did, and everything was fine. And it's always been fine. But, uh, if he said that, I don't. I would have gone some, you know, joined the yogis or someone else. You know. That's obvious. We we want some result from our work, our endeavor. 
And we, we'd like to see the result of our work, in, in this life at least. But when, when, so most things that are offered in this world, uh, most everything we've experienced with our material senses and mind are, are results in, that we experience now, in now time, in this life. But bhakti is not like that. We're trying for the highest un- unimaginable goal. We're like a blind man trying to see the stars in the sky. There's a verse like that. Mukam kavita kari yansabharas. Mukam kavita kari yansabharas. Pango. Shin Chaitanya Charge. Pango giri lange deki. Taragana deki. Lake lake. Says that. By the mercy of Guru, a blind Mukha uh, Kavitakari, a fool can recite poetry. By the mercy of Guru, a total fool, ba 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 ba, he can speak Sanskrit poetry. Pangam langayate giri girim. Panga a pango a panga means you know a broken person, legs are broken. Jayatam Surato pangor pangor means lame, lame. You know it's like. Uh, Pangor Langayate Giram. Giri means mountain. He can cross over mountains. He can walk over the Himalayas. And then, uh, Anda uh, Taragan uh, Deki. Uh, a blind person, Anda Taragan, the stars, the group of stars, Tara, Nakshatra is Tara, he can see. A blind man can see the stars in the sky. Anda Taragana. Anda Tanagara Deki. Anda Tan Anda Taragana Deki. It's almost like Hindi. Practically the same. Anda Anda Taragan Deki. A blind man. So by the so it is possible in one life to attain prema, but it's we should understand that it's very, very rare. Very, very rare. And practically speaking of you when uh, Jiva Goswami is saying it takes many lifetimes. So Prabhupada didn't tell us about that point in the Sandarvas. He, just, he, he said that Hare Krishna Mantra has limited power, and it does, and anything's possible in mercy of Guru and Lord Chaitanya, and it is, and anybody can obtain pure love of God in this life, and they can. But who is that anybody? <laughs> that any? Oh, well, Prabhupada, exactly, exactly who is that anybody? Well, you know, anybody. No, anybody, but and just anybody and everybody. Well, no, you just keep just generic Krishna. Don't ask so many questions. But if he, if he actually was to say anybody, say well anybody that practiced Raghunoga Bhakti in her last life, anybody that was quite advanced. This is the fact, and you'll see yourself. You practice for ten years. Where are you? You practice for twenty years. Where are you? You practice for I practice for forty years in this lifetime. Where am I? I know, Krishna knows. And this is the statements of our acharyas. This is the statements of the six Goswamis. And this is practically the realization of anyone that practices bhakti. So, most, uh, I, I would like to say most everything in the books by that acharya that you mentioned are correct. And to under, and another point I must say, there's one verse in. Uh, Either Bhagavatam or Chaitanya Charitamrita says that. Um, it says. It says Shastra Praman. It says something about reading sh- you. Uh, with Tikas, it's, I forget exactly. I just heard it this morning on some lecture tape. It says that the Shastras, even with the Tikas and commentaries, they cannot be understood without Guru. So you have the, you have Prabhupada's books and they have commentaries. What we call purport. Bhaktivedanta purport. Those are called tika, or commentary. And you think, oh, I've got it all. You don't have it all. Even if you have the book and the commentaries, one commentary, 11 commentaries, like Bhagavatam, 11 commentaries, one verse, you still need guru to understand it. <laughs> 